serious for a minute. <laughs> SHOW Chicago, and we are back again this time on a Wednesday night with some weird old news. Yeah, because we have another Chicago rapper under fire. Native rapper. None other than King Yellow, who lives in Las Vegas right now. Uh huh. Word on the street is King Yellow that you got this Blog of the Year award. Congratulations. And I want to congratulate you furthermore on finishing out your federal parole. That's done. Fantastic. Don't go back now. Don't go back. But however, there seems to be a twist in this whole thing about your character. Because word on the street is, is that you're a rat. Word on the street is that you ratted on 600 Breezy. Word on the street is that you a Chester molester. Oh, wow. If I was you, I would have moved to Las Vegas too. I'm just saying because you would have probably ended up being D-E-A-D. This is according to the word on the street, man. This is not mo talking. It's all over the internet, bro. You a pedophile. That's word on the street. She was 15 years old, and you went to that girl's cookies, man. Man, went all in that girl's box. Whether she gave you consent or not, she was a minor. She was 15 years old. And according to word on the street, is that you even said this in your own video. Uh-huh. I'm just saying. I won't use the word allegedly because you said it yourself. Right? I'm just saying. That was really sad when I heard that. FBG Duck, homie. Whew. Don't you got a daughter? Don't you got a daughter? I'm just saying. Or oh, you got a sister? I'm just saying. Were you and R. Kelly going to the same school in the same class, you know? <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> wow. Sitting up there telling people about Offset and how he's gang related. You know you can't do that, man. You know that ratting out people in Chicago carries no probation, even though you're in Vegas. I'm sure even the mob that's in Vegas ain't no ratting. Now you labeled a rat all across the internet from your own sayings. Uh-huh. And they say that your Statements are all across the police counters, man. Wow. Man, you may want to clear that up for real. I see you put a video up, but I haven't checked it out because I want to put mine out there. Then I want to see what you have to say about, you know, what's going on. Yeah. I mean, like, there's another Chester event going on right now, too. That involves Mary J. Blige. Uh-huh. And Danny Boy, that was an artist of Death Row Records. Remember Danny Boy? Yeah. According to the word on the street, Mary J. Blige was chestering, molestering him at the age when he was 15 years old. Now, had he continued to be chestered and molested by... Mary J. Blige, maybe he would not have become a twist of a man. I'm just saying. <laughs> I mean, hey, Mary J. Blige can Chester molest me any day. 
I ain't saying a word. <laughs> Straight up. According to word on the street, she was flying Danny Boy back and forth a few times. Uh huh. And just so happens, her other boyfriend knocked on the door. You know, the one that was smoking crack? You know, the little skinny one, you know. Uh huh. Was it KC or was it JoJo? One of them two. You know, the one that was smoking crack, you know. <laughs> He just could not get it together. Damn. You couldn't leave crack alone for Mary J. Sucker. Damn. I don't know. Do you think that King Yella is a chest molester? Do you think King Yella is a rat? And do you think that Mary J. Blige is a pedophile? I mean, if you're a man and you were sexually assaulted by a woman, would you report it? Would you enjoy it? I just ask that question because most of the time when a male physically assaults a woman, you know, like that, she don't enjoy it too much. Yeah. And it traumatizes her. There's a different effect that it has on a man when he's chestered, molested by a woman. Versus a man chester and molesting a girl. That's a big difference. As for me, like I said, I wouldn't say nothing. I would have just kept getting groomed by Mary J. Blige. That could have been a lot of fun. <laughs> Danny boy, what's wrong, man? Are you broke? You know, you need some cash, you need that bag. Everybody wants to come out the closet and tell what happened to them and how they sexually got violated by somebody in the industry. Mm-hmm. Everybody seen Cassie get that 30 million and they went, wow, you know. Crazy. What do you think? Leave your comments in the comment section. It's your brother, T H E M O S H O W Chicago, where knowledge is power. It is your third item. Make sure you shine like jury. If you haven't done so already, press that subscribe button below. Hit that notification bell so that you can get all the new videos that I upload on Y-O-U-T-U-B-E. Also, press those comments to like and to share. Share the information with relatives, friends, co-workers, anyone that you come to contact with. It is a magnificent way to jumpstart your conversation on how not to be a pedophile or a rat. Thanks for viewing you all. Peace out. Never give up on your D-R-E-A-M-S. Thanks for viewing. Serious.